So now we're going to work with the other side of the ruler. We've been working in with customary units of inches, but we're going to turn the ruler over and we're going to be using centimeters slash millimeters, the metric system. So use a ruler like the one shown to measure the objects to the nearest centimeter or nearest millimeter. So one centimeter is the same as 10 millimeters. So if you're working in millimeters, instead of this being one, two, three, four, you're counting it as 10, 20, 30, 40. And each line is uh, a single unit. If you're working in centimeters, this is one, and then each line is a tenth of a unit. But we'll go over that more. So find the length of the piece of chalk to the nearest centimeter. So they want us, they put a ruler here for us, but we could put our own down here if we want. It's the same thing. And they lined it up nicely with the zero mark right at the end of the chalk, or we could put our zero mark on our ruler right at the end of the chalk. And it looks like it goes one centimeter, two centimeters, three centimeters, and four centimeters. So the four centimeters is the closest to the end. And centimeters is abbreviated CM, if we had to write it. So now they want us to do it on our own. Find the length of the toy car to the nearest millimeter. So instead of counting these as one, two, three, four, it's 10, 20, 30, 40, and the little lines in between each count as one, with the longer one being five. So in millimeters, looking here, I'm still using my centimeter side, but at each one mark, each tiny mark counts as one. So I can go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55 at the big mark, 56, it looks like it's just about 56 if I line it up, right between 56 and 57, but I'm gonna call that 56. So the nearest millimeter, it's 56 millimeters. If they ask for it in um, parts of a centimeter, a whole centimeter, I would say six centimeters. But if I wanted it as a decimal, I would say five point six or five and six tenths centimeters. But they asked for in millimeters, so it's 56 millimeters long. Explain how you can tell the difference between the centimeter and millimeter marks when measuring with an object with a metric ruler. The centimeter, I'm gonna abbreviate that CM, lines are much larger and marked with numbers. Those little millimeter lines are the ones that are blank. Is it easier to measure an object to the nearest centimeter or to the nearest millimeter? I mean, this is kind of a confusing question because it really depends on what you're comfortable with. If you're very comfortable with rounding, then centimeters would be easier. But if you're comfortable just um, counting by tens and then counting individual lines and not having to round, it might be easier to measure with um, millimeters. So this can depend on what you're more comfortable with. I'm gonna say I find it easier to measure in centimeters, abbreviate CM, because I am comfortable with rounding. All right, justify conclusions. So should you measure a length across a penny to the nearest centimeter or millimeter? Explain your reasoning. So I'm imagining a penny here, I don't have one on me, but I'm thinking it's gonna be somewhere around this wide across. And that's not very descriptive because it could be over here and it could be over here. So I think it would be more reasonable to measure in millimeters because they're smaller and more exact. It would be more reasonable to measure in millimeters. I'm abbreviating that MM because they are more exact. All right, so I want you to try the next page. Go ahead and 
give it a go on your own and then in the description box below I have answers to some of the problems so you can check your answer words.